Hi everyone, my name is Angel and here are my heavenly babies. So this introduction video is just to introduce myself and share with you guys why I'm starting up this channel and my love for babies. So for starters, like I said, my name is Angel and I have loved dolls my entire life. I started off loving Cabbage Patch dolls. They were my most favorite. I got my first Cabbage Patch when I was five years old and I actually still have her right here. So I am 47 years old and I got her when I was five. So that is 42 years ago that I got this little girl and I named her Sandy. And yeah, I've had her all these years. And of course I did get more Cabbage Patches as the years went on. I don't have any of those, but I do have this one and the very first corn silk that came out. So I did keep those, and her name is Emily. I didn't bring her into the video, but I wanted to share this one. This one was my best friend growing up, really was. I mean, this little girl here knows more secrets than anybody. I brought her everywhere I went. Every night, changed her into PJ, took her to bed, woke her up, changed her, all of that, and took her to school. I kept her in my desk. Yeah, she's the love of my life, and I'm so glad to still have her. She looks like, when I got her, she looks like a little Mexican baby. She's got green eyes, very beautiful olive skin, uh, brown um, yarn hair that I have braided, and she's got the little um, butterflies in there, and then this outfit. This was not the original outfit that she came in. It actually was a little green dress that she came in. Um, I hope you guys can see her good. But yeah, I still have her 42 years later, and I absolutely love her. Um, I did get a Cabbage Patch a few years ago. My brother got me a up-to-date version one. It's still in a box because, um, you know, I love Cabbage Patches. He had my name for Christmas, so he got me that. Um, I collect um, uh, Care Bears. My husband calls me that. Uh, we met almost 12 years ago. It'll be 12 years in May. Uh, yeah, May 22nd of 2011 is when we met and then we got married in July um, 2012 so it was July 7th 2012 we got married a year later and we've been together ever since his name is Phelan and he's just you know just as uh, you know just I don't know what word I'm looking for he loves these babies just as much as I do does he play with them and do things with them no uh, he'll hold them once in a while take a photo you know stuff like that but you know, he's very good about the babies and my love for these babies. And, you know, I'm going to go over when I found out about silicones and all of that. So, but yeah, this is Sandy. So I just want to introduce the first doll I ever owned uh, at five years old. I'm sure I had other babies, but I mean, the first love of my life was right here. And I would really like to get her box stuff like in a glass box. But yeah, love this doll. All right, you guys. So now we're going to go over... And we're going to talk about when I found out about the uh, silicones, reborns, all of that. Started off basically with the reborns. And it would have been, I believe, in 2017, I started watching a channel called In Love with Reborns 2011. That is her channel. I'm going to put it right down here. Um, some of you guys, I'm sure, are going to know her because you're going to come over from her channel. I'm going to tell you guys about it over there. Um, but if you don't, definitely go over and subscribe to her channel. She makes and sells Reborn. She paints them, puts them together, paints them, and she is phenomenal on Reborn babies. The cloth body babies, she does that. And, um, yeah, her babies are gorgeous, and she sells them. And I just, that's the first time I had ever seen it on YouTube. Before I ever started a YouTube channel, I was watching, um, you know, her. I started my channel, I believe, I want to say, let's see. When did I start my channel? Actually, no, I think I already had a channel then. Um, 2015 is when I started Keto. And I started the channel. Um, that's why I have a channel called Keep It Keto. Um, I started that, I believe, in my channel in 2016, probably. So, yeah, I think in 2016. But I heard, you know, saw her channel in 2017 because you just go and you watch videos and stuff as you're loading your own. And I started my channel off as Angel's Heavenly Nails is what it was, because I'm a nail artist, I'm an artist, I'm a painter. Didn't know I was, found that out years later, but 
At the age of five years old, I was painting my own nails. And by the age of nine and 10, I was doing art. So I found out my grandmother's a painter. Um, she was born in England, my mo mom's mom. And she came over to the United States when she was 17 years old and you know lived her whole life then in um, the United States. She moved to California, San Francisco. And um, she then moved to uh, uh, St. Paul, Minnesota and met my grandfather and then it's history. So, and that's why I'm here. But um, anyways, uh, so, you know, I just, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, <laughs> that's funny, you lose train of thought. Um, I don't remember what I was even going with that. <laughs> I don't even remember. So we'll just go on. If I think about it, I'll go on. But anyways, um, I wish I knew what it was. But yeah, anyway, so, oh, being a painter. There we go. Being a painter. My grandmother's a painter. My grandmother has passed on. She's in heaven. Rest in peace. Um, but yeah, so it was the painting. I got that from my grandmother. The I love fashion. I got that from her too and all of that. So, of course, on my first channel, which was Angel's Heavenly Nails, I was doing nails and showing all that I do, the, my own acrylic, all my own paints. By the age of like 15, I was doing portraits on nails. You know, I was painting, um, you know, uh, canvases and stuff like that, but I was also doing it on just little sets of nails. I was painting portraits, anything anybody asked me to do, I could paint it. So I got that from my grandmother and, um, and, you know, just, I went from there. So I had this channel, but then I, I talked one day about my keto channel and from there it blew up. People started asking me about keto because I had lost a substantial amount of weight. Um, I started in 2015, like I said, November of 2015, I started the ketogenic diet. Within 15 to 18 months, I had lost over 170 plus pounds. I was like 308 to 311 pounds when I started. And I sit today between 145 and 150, um, you know, lost all that weight. My lowest weight doing the keto diet was like 138 was my lowest, I believe. Um, but nowadays I sit around 145 to 150. Um, just as I'm getting older, it's a little hard to keep myself down to the lower end. But I mean, we're just talking a matter of pounds, you know. But I have kept it off this um, April will be so next month this this will be uh i've maintained it for six years yeah six years i've maintained the weight out and then november will be eight years i've been doing keto so then i changed the name to keep it keto i switched over and did an angels heavenly nails a separate channel for people but that channel never really grew really big so i still show the nails and my fashion and then i talk about keto in the keep it keto but being a keto channel very hard for you baby lovers to see my baby videos and i'll go over that so I decided to get into loving these babies. And that started, my first baby I got was in uh, 2021. And I got two of them. My first full body silicone. So I have 17 full body silicones. And I have one cloth body reborn that actually is up for sale. So I'm going to show the two here. So this one here, this little girl, I have will have a video on her for you guys. This little girl here, this was the first one I got from um, my friend Jaden. I don't know if you guys have ever, um, you know, anybody that comes in here, I don't know if you're coming from Jaden's channel, but Jaden's is uh, JC's Reborn, I believe it's called. JC's Reborn Journey. Oh, JC's Reborn Journey. I'll just put it up on the screen right here for you guys. Love for you to go over and subscribe to his channel as well. He does all kinds of stuff that works with the babies and all that. Uh, but this was the first one I got, and Jaden had completely put this baby together, painted this baby, rooted this baby. Uh, it's got the magnet in the mouth, the magnet in the head for bows, beautiful auburn hair, green eyes. I mean, she's just absolutely gorgeous. She's like considered like a six-month-old. Uh, she wears six-month to 12-month clothing and, you know, weighted really well. She is 27 inches long, and she is 9.5 pounds but she's a really good weight and just a beautiful baby. So she was the first realistic baby I got along with my um, uh, micro preemie I got. And he's on the very end there. I'll bring him over. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce, you know, and show you all the babies at the end. I'm going to go over them. But yeah, this is the one I have up for sale. And she comes with a complete wardrobe. We're talking over 100 pieces of clothing for her, uh, like 20 to 25 new diapers. She comes with bottles, shoes pacifiers that are modified, ones that aren't extra magnets, um, spoons, toys, bibs, uh, one bow for her hair, and then a couple other bows, the one that's in her hair, this outfit she has on, of course, 
It's just ginormous. And I'm only asking $800 for everything. Plus, I'm going to pay the shipping. So free shipping within the U.S., you guys. Make sure you understand that. Outside of the U.S., I would have to have you pay the shipping because it's already going to be um, around 100 bucks to ship her. So I'm really not asking for much. I'm only going to make 700 off of her along with everything she comes with. But I just want to find her a good home. I just feel like even though I'm a collector, I'm not so much a collector. I love to interact with these babies, and I'm just not interacting with this one very much and doing very much with it. But, you know, also being a collector, if she doesn't ever go, well, I'm not going to get rid of her. I'm going to keep her, maybe give her, you know, not give her away, but, you know, just somehow just maybe incorporate her into my collection or whatever but like i said i just don't do much with her she sits in the back in a bassinet with the cover over she's dust free comes from a smoke-free home all of that she still smells brand new you guys she still smells brand new she was brand new when i got him you know got her from uh jaden and um but yeah so but i just don't interact so i want to sell her and i thought i just don't want to take anybody to the bank you know so she is for sale fully painted she's got beautiful nail beds done her toes done She's weighted really well, just absolutely a beautiful baby. So she is up for sale. You're going to see a video on her. And um, I'm hoping that I can, you know, make this channel really grow because it wasn't growing big for the baby community um, because keep it keto. People are coming over for keto stuff. And then, of course, you're getting some baby people over there. But the reason I want that is because when I first got my very first silicone, which was, like I said, my little micro uh, preemie, and I'll bring him over and show you guys real quick. My micro preemie was my first full body silicone that I got. I'll take his little nook out so you guys can see him. I'm going to get up close and show you guys. But he's a micro preemie. He is one and a half pounds and he's 12 inches long. Uh, he came unpainted. And I decided one day to paint him and the other one I got. I'll go over that with you guys. And found out that I can paint silicones too. Now, silicone painting is not easy to do. you got to pick all the little dust off, all of that. There's a lot of work to silicone painting, but I did a lot of research, and I attempted to paint this one and the other one, and I loved it. I did this one more of a red baby because it is a micro preemie, and they are more red when they're born that way, and I just love, love, love the way he turned out. So he is my full-body silicone micro preemie, and yeah, he's a little guy. But I don't do much with him either. He's just in my collection because you... You know, realistically, couldn't bring a baby home that size. You couldn't. Um, and, of course, I don't want to do, like, NICU videos. I don't want to offend anybody and do NICU because there are babies like that that are in hospitals. And I don't want to offend anybody like that. So he just kind of stays in the back, too. But I love to have him set up in my collection. So that was in 2021. Uh, for Christmas of 2021 is when I got the Reborn Girl and that silicone. But I still wasn't satisfied, you guys, because... My story behind my silicone babies, I like them much better than the cloth body reborns because when I had my son back in 98, I developed, I was only 22 years old, I developed a heart condition called postpartum cardiomyopathy. I'll throw it up on the screen there. Um, yeah, I developed that and I had the heart of an 83-year-old at the age of 22. I was told I could have no more kids. That was it. And I was in the hospital during the time that he was an infant. I ended up in the hospital very, you know, just new into when he came home. I was getting very ill. I was, I mean, I was on bed rest in the beginning with him because I was told that I had a kidney infection that had turned viral. So I had a virus running through my body and all that. I was pregnant and all that. So, you know, that being said, you know, not getting to interact with my baby after I had him. I mean, I was so bloated. I was complaining. I said, I can't breathe anymore. I was like um, almost a month shy of having, having him. I was due for him. Um, due to have him that year, it was Father's Day, I believe it was June 19th, and I had him on May 29th. They took him, it was about three weeks early that they took him, because I said, I can't breathe anymore, my tongue swelled up, my nose swelled up. They thought I had the first size of toxemia. Had they known it was a heart condition, they would have never let me deliver naturally. They would have done cesarean to save the heart, all of that. I was getting high blood pressure, all that, and that's why they thought it was toxemia. My baby doctor at the time had never heard what I had, so didn't know and said he was so sorry he would have taken the baby even earlier because my baby was born 6 pounds, 9.8 ounces, and he was 19 and 3 fourth inches long three weeks early. So he was a good-sized baby. They could have took him even a few weeks earlier than that to save on the heart. But like I said, my doctor apologized, did not know he was a new baby doctor, a new OBGYN. I had never heard of what I had. And just, I was so young. I didn't even fit the criteria. I was like one in a million. It's one in 500,000, but that's African-American, multiple births in women in their 40s. 
I was 21 when I got pregnant with him, 22 when I had him, and no other kids, and I'm, you know, Caucasian. So that being said, I didn't even fit the criteria that said that one in a million for that to ever happen. My family had lots of babies, but I could only have the one, and I missed out in the newborn stage. So to me, to have newborn babies, that's what I like, um, where I can bathe them and do things that I wasn't able to do with my son. So not that I didn't love when I got my reborn, but I couldn't bathe her, couldn't do those things with her. Um, and all of that. And of course, my micro preemie, having fun with that. But again, a micro preemie, you know, too small. No, you can't take that one home and all that. So talk to my friend Jaden. And I know he had had one up for sale, which is my Octavia here, my beautiful little girl. So that was the next one I got. And I got her in December as well. Um, you can scroll down if you go into Keep It Keto video. Scroll down a ways um, from in last year's because what are we 2023 and I got her in 2021 so if you just scroll down and keep going you're gonna find the video on her it was a box opening I put best Christmas present ever I think I, I named the video um, so if you want to see that maybe I'll even link it um, in the comment section here for you guys I'm sure there's gonna be other things I'm gonna have to link but if not I'll link it in there so you guys can go watch that so it was my very first realistic you know size baby but this is like a three-month baby um, and that's around, my son was about two, two and a half months when I ended up in the hospital. But before that, I was still not being able to take care of him very well. In the beginning, oh yeah, bam, I was doing it all. He was keeping me up every hour on the hour, being a preemie baby, um, you know, only taking an ounce at a time and all of that. But I was getting more and more tired. So then my mom was helping me all that. And then I ended up in the hospital. So, you know, it, I looked at her as like, oh great, she, you know, she's a good size. But then I wanted newborn babies, you know, the newborn size. Because that's really, even though she'd be considered still new, but she's like around about a three month old baby. She is 11 pounds. She's a brute. 11 pounds and like 21 inches long. But yeah, this is her. I'm going to, you know, get up close and show you guys. And um, I fell in love. I thought, oh my gosh, she's so realistic. She's so cute. I love her. Love these babies. And then I went, um, she was peeling really bad. Um, even more after I got her, Jaden said she started peeling immediately after he had gotten her. She is a $3,000 baby. I think he paid $3,000 for her. Um, I did not. He gave me, you know, a deal on her and all of that. But she was a $3,000 baby, a good silicone. She's a 20 eco. I'm going to go over all that. But anyways, she had a lot of peeling. So that's when I decided to paint little Abel, my micro preemie, and her. He was an unpainted kit an unpainted baby, and then I wanted to paint her. I did not want to strip her paint. I wanted to just paint over her peeling. I knew I could do it. Well, it turned out really great and everything. Her coloring was great. Everything was wonderful. Everybody was complimenting the, the video and all that. But one day, I take things to heart. I was outside. The sun was coming down. It was kind of that pink color outside. And my brother noticed she looked a little red. And we were outside. This was a day I went grad selling. I took her out. Everybody thought she was real and all that. So she was definitely a beautiful color, um, like a pinkish tone or whatever. But my brother said, why is she so red? Well, of course, my husband then came home and said, you know, she kind of is a little red. But it was just the lighting that made her so red. Because when you look at back at photos, she was not too red. Even Jaden had seen her, said she's not too red. But I take to heart those things, and I did. So I decided to strip this baby completely and repaint her. Well, when I did that, it wasn't working out, and I was de destroying her silicone. Um, and I, But I had to keep going because I had already stripped so much of her. I was do doing an adrenaline tool. Um, I had seen online somebody had used one. Somebody told him to use that instead of you know sandpaper because she had so many layers of paint. I had to do so many to cover up the peeling. So she had like 20 layers of paint on her but still looked beautiful. You know, but it was the fact that she had had so much paint that it was so much to get off. So I had to use this adrenaline tool. And because she didn't have just a few layers, it didn't just whip off really easy. It was, you know, heating up. It was ripping her silicone. And I was devastated, devastated. And I just, I painted her, but I was upset. It had ruined her eye here. It ruined a piece in here. But I'm going to fix it. I'm going to, um, you know, be taking out part of this. And I'm going to fill it in with silicone. Um, fix the top of her head. She's got a mark on her head and stuff like that. And then, of course, try to... Fill in little spots in her whole head to make her smooth again. She looks still beautiful, but if you were to see her in person, you'd see that there are flaws. I called her a boo-boo baby, and I made a video on that. I will link that in the comment section for you guys to see. I was crying. I was devastated. It was the only silicone I had. Well, Jaden was coming to see me in September and knew that I wanted, on the end there with the gray hat and the brown uh, jacket on there, um, knew that I wanted to buy him eventually, um, and he's considered like a three-month baby too, so he surprised me. You know, I knew that I had to get her finish paid off and all that. So 
he thought I'm going to surprise her and bring it to her early because we were talking about it, but I wasn't sure yet when I was going to get it. So he brought him to me to cheer me up. It was to cheer me up because I was so sad what had happened to her. So he brought him to me and I just thought that was so sweet. And of course, you know, got him, um, you know, you know, started paying on him and, you know, got her paid off and all that. But these are $3,000 babies. I would say he's even more his head moves. Uh, so, you know, he's got mobility with his head and all that. And he is a 30 eco. So they're both eco flex. If you don't know what that means, eco flex. And one's a 20 just means a little bit softer. And he's a little bit of a stiffer silicone. He's a 30 eco. I still love both. I love 20. I love 30. I wouldn't like anything harder than that, though. But anyway, so that's the reason for him. And then um, in that year, in December, anonymously, I had somebody send me two babies and said, now they're not $3,000 babies. But they are from Ivita and from Volance. And I just want you to try these babies out. And I know with your artistic ways, you're going to paint these babies. And um, my baby in the end there, uh, Christian, his name was Jaden when Jaden had him. It was Jaden, but I named him Christian Gray. Um, so that's his name. But anyways, um, he's not a real painted baby. He's got art stuff. I'm going to flush him up and fix him and stuff like that. He, he looks great. Doesn't have any peeling and all that because he doesn't really have a lot of paint. He's just got a lot of a little bit of veining, tiny bit, and the crease is really, and then just sealed. But I'm going to give him some blushing and stuff. But anyways, so because of my boo-boo vi vi video on this one, um, uh, this person, man or woman, I don't know, never did come forward. And this would have been last Christmas, so in 2022. Um, they sent me two babies and said, I know they're not $3,000 babies. I know they need to be painted, but with your artistic ways, I know you will. I'm not trying to replace Octavia. I know she'll never be able to be replaced. It was your first silicone. I know how much you love her and all of that. But I just thought that you could get some enjoyment out of these babies. And when I found out about this company and how awesome and amazing these silicones were, I started collecting more than my husband got me some. I had Christmas money, uh, Valentine's Day. So then I ended up with 17 babies total. I even have a little mic uh, micro, micro, micro baby, a four inch little girl, full body silicone I got from Jaden. And that was a gift uh, that Jaden had given to me. So I just started going from there and started collecting. But the one that I got is my angel baby up there that I had painted, rooted. I love this baby. She looks like a little Italian baby. We were making her look like, I was trying to make her look like my husband because um, my husband's Italian. And I just love her. It was her and this one here. Those were the two that I got. He is a 30 eco. She is a 20 eco. Real floppy baby. He's still floppy and all that. But we'll go over, like I said, I'm going to introduce all the babies. But those were the two that anonymously got sent to me. And from there, well, we see I got a lot more because that was only in 2022, Christmas last year. So that's not that many months. We're only in March of 23. And now I've got all of these babies. So we're going to go over that. But I also have some babies for sale. And because I, that was what I was going to explain, because I learned that I could paint these babies and do so good, I started asking, or I mean, people started asking me, one was my son saying, why don't you paint them and do it as a business? He knows a girl at work that loves these babies. And he said, you should really paint, buy these babies, mom, paint them, buy the Amazon eBay babies so that they're cheaper, paint them, make them look like a $3,000 baby and sell them between four and $600. You know, if I do more to them, once I learn rooting really good and all that, I'm, I might even paint on their head and then do some, um, Hair in the center, so it would be a combo hair. I'm going to try to do that with silicone like that. I'm excited about that. Um, and I just, you know, once I do a couple of my babies, and if it turns out good, then I will do that or whatever included. But then the babies would run around 700 because rooting and painting, all of that's going to take more time. But still, to get a $3,000 looking baby, and the quality is very good. Watch, you know, End Love with Reborns or whatever you're going to see. She loves the quality too or whatever. And she's had $8,000 silicones and said that she got rid of them right away. And loves her eBay, Amazon babies so much. And, you know, some people are going to disagree with me and say, no, you know, $3,000 babies are better. Yeah, they are really good babies, but people can't always afford the $3,000, $4,000, $5,000, $8,000 dollar babies. They can't. So that being said, I thought that I would do something nice where I would get these babies. Because I hear, you know, I watch many videos on these Ivita and Volans babies and people, you know, getting them and just saying they love them so much, but they're like, they're so sticky. I have to constantly powder them. They are. They come very sticky. The second you give them one little bath, they're even stickier. You put powder on, the powder comes off instantly when you change them, all of that. So I thought, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. So that is the point of this uh, new channel here is a baby channel. So I'm going to do videos on my babies, uh, share 
videos. If you go into the Keep It Keto or if you've been in there, you see I do videos on bathing and feeding and changing. And I do the, you know, all the noise effects and all of that. I have fun with my videos. But I also will be putting up my babies that are for sale in there. And what I'm going to do is you will have first dibs on it. So I'll keep it up for a week. If it doesn't get sold, then it'll stay there, remain there. But then it's going to go into eBay. I've just opened up an eBay account and it's going to go into there. I've got um, my sister-in-law that's also helping me out. She's had an eBay account forever. She sells everything, anything and everything. She buys storage lockers, sells anything and everything. She's got her thing, I think, is almost 100% positivity. It's like 99.9% .9 positivity. Um, so she does really well. So she's helping me to sell the babies as well. But that's the first ones because they were just ones that were in my collection that I was, you know, getting rid of uh, because I had replaced it with this one here because I wanted him to be the same equal as her being twins. And then that one there with the hat on, the green hat and the ball on the top, that's the one that's a lookalike to my son. And when I got the other one was a, a painted baby and this paint was so crazy to try to seal. I had to call the company and, and figure out how to seal it. At one point, I thought I was just going to put this one away. I said throw away in a video. I didn't mean throw away. I just mean put away. And that's it. Get the, you know get that one again and repaint it, but unpainted so that it would seal and all that. But I figured it out. I got the help I needed. I got it sealed. And he's so beautiful, but I had already gotten him then. And so we're past the 30 days. I can't return him, so I'm going to go ahead and let the other one go. I don't need two Dylans. My son, I don't need two of them. He wasn't a twin. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, but I hope I can get it exactly the same as that baby because my baby was a red baby. He was like an Indian color, a reddish brown. So when you see him in the video, he is not as red as what you're seeing. Some people say, um, somebody said he looked burnt. He's not a burnt looking baby. He's a beautiful baby. I got so many compliments when my son was born. They said, oh my God, he's such a beautiful color. He looks like an Indian. And I had asked the doctor when, you know, the nurse, when they brought me him, I said, oh my gosh, what happened to my baby? Why is he so red? I just didn't remember when they laid him on me because, you know, it's so quick. You lay the baby in and he's full of slime and all that, you know, and you're kissing him and all that. And then they take him away, give him a bath, put him in the lamp to warm him up and all that. When they brought him back, I thought he got burnt by the lamp. And they said, no, it's because he's a preemie. And some babies are born red. I'm going to stick up on the screen right here. This is a full term baby and look at how red it is. Not as red as the one I painted. Look at that. I mean, this one, this next photo I'm putting up, that's about the color of it, what the color of the baby is. So it's more of a brownish red. I was trying to, you know, try to get that color because that's what color my son was. And it's kind of cool that I got a baby that looks just like my son. So it's like I get to have him again because my son is 24, going to be 25 in May. I can't believe that he's still my baby. But I get to enjoy that stage that I had kind of lost out of because this is a newborn baby. And it's kind of cool that I got a baby, you know, under $300 at, um, you know, under 300 that I can paint myself that looks just like my son. Just unbelievable. I didn't have to, you know, have it recreated or pay $5,000 or $8,000 to get a lookalike of my son. He looks just like him. And so I hope you guys will like the baby that I have up for sale. And then the other one was this one here. These are twins. They are preemies, but a very good size preemie. They wear preemie, clo wear preemie clothes. They're 14 inches. They are 3.4, 3 pounds. And I, she was a 20 eco, he was a 30 eco, and I wanted both of them to be the same eco flex. So I got him in the, uh, you know, ordered him again, requested, the, you know, from them to, I had to get it through China. And I got him in the floppy version. So now he's, I mean, the 20 eco, I'm sorry, the 20 eco flex. So then I let the other one go. So I have that one for sale as well. So my reborn for sale. Um, the one that look alike of my son is for sale. He has 600 and the one here is um, 400 and you got to go watch those videos. I will put them up after this introduction. I'm going to open all three tomorrow for you guys. So you're getting this video on Sunday and then Monday I'm going to open all three. I do have them in my Keep It Keto. I, that will be linked down in my box here if you just want to get over there quickly and see it in case you're interested and want the baby. You know, you want one of the babies or whatever and you want to get it quick before somebody, you know, gets dibs before they are up, then go over there and check it out. It'll be linked in the box, the Keep It Keto channel. Go over there and you'll see, because I've loaded a few videos on both of them and also a video on her um, for sale and all the stuff that comes with her, the picture of the clothes and all of that. So if you want first dibs, get over to Keep It Keto. Otherwise, if you wait till tomorrow, hopefully they haven't sold yet, um, then uh, they'll be up in the channel tomorrow on Monday. The all three, I'm going to open all three videos in Monday's video. So... But anyways, that's the story behind it, why I got into wanting the silicone babies because I had lost out of that in the stage with my son. Didn't even know anything about, you know, these realistic type babies till I watched End Love with Reborns and I saw this, her silicones that she had had at the time and, her, you know, her Reborns that she was making and selling. And then, of course, I saw her silicones 
and that was in 2017. I didn't get my first silicone, that little one there, until 2021. And then I got her in 2021 too, the uh, size that was more of a, you know, a baby size, you know. And then I said, once I got those two anonymously and found out that I could get more, because I couldn't keep, you know, affording two, three, four thousand dollar babies. I couldn't do that. And I'm not really into the reborns, even in the baby stage, you know, like a newborn stage, because this is an older one, the reborn stage, because I want to be able to bathe them and interact like as if, you know, Everybody's got a reason why they buy these babies. Some are collectors, some lost a child, some, you know, couldn't have kids. Some are older and, and they just miss being a mom and can't have kids anymore and all that. There's so many reasons why people get these babies. My reason is because I lost out on the newborn stage with my son because I was very ill. But here I am sitting almost 25 years later with my same heart and doing very well. My heart improved a lot. Um, it, you know, started to improve a little bit. It was about 25% before I started keto. When I started keto, I got my heart to almost 50%. I actually am going in to have another test under the heart. We're going to do an MRI so that they can even give me better results, you know, look at the heart better and let you know. But yeah, I, you know, things are great. I was on 22 medications. I'm down to two after it just months of doing keto. I got off all those meds for the heart and all of that. So I didn't ever, you know, need a heart, but I didn't have any more kids. I wasn't able to. I still do pray one day that I can, but I've got my heavenly babies right here, and I do enjoy them. I interact with them every night. I'm holding them, feeding them, you know, just coddling them because it makes me feel good. I love them, and I'll make many videos on it, and I'm going to always have at least two babies up for sale. After these ones go, I'm going to get a boy and a girl. It'll always be boy and girls that I will have. They will be bald, I'm sorry, or painted if I figure out how to paint and do combo hair, then I will incorporate that, but then they will go up to 700 a baby. Um, but it just be ten, depend on their size and, and stuff like that, what price. But roughly, like I said, it's gonna be between four and 600 for the babies. But if I am able to paint and root, then they're gonna be um, $700 for those babies. But I won't, you know, anything over 700. And then when I ship them out, it's gonna be flat rate because I'm gonna be doing newborn, all basically newborn size babies is what I'm going to do so that, you know, I mean, you could get one even a little bit bigger. Maybe I might get one, maybe a 22 inch. I could just fold the legs over. I could still do it in a flat rate, uh, but that would be pushing it at that size for a baby. It would be pushing it. Um, but flat rate runs $22 in some sense. So it'd be under $23 for the flat rate shipping, but that would be, have to be included in it. Um, but yeah, so that is my story. And I hope you guys will enjoy this uh, new channel. All you baby lovers, because I'm a baby lover too, and I love all my silicone so much. I love my angel sitting up there. Look at, she's praying. I'll go over and get close and show you her. I'm going to tell you the ones that aren't painted yet, the ones that are painted. I'm going to paint every one of my babies. I just got them all so quickly that I didn't don't got them all painted yet. But I'm going to paint and root all of mine. I love the way I do my rooting. I do it more realistic where there's a lot of, you know, some spots are missing, you know, not missing on the head, but just thinner. Some, with you know, like the bed head look or real, real fine, thin hair. My baby barely had any hair when he was born. And it took forever. Even when he was a year old, he still was almost bald. I like babies like that. That's realistic. Babies don't have full heads of hair. They can be born that way. But I like them with that very baby fine hair. So that's the way I like my babies. Okay, so that's why I'm going to, you know, that's why I'll do them for me. But for you guys, I want to be more professional at it. So I, you know, if I can paint them and just do a little bit of combo hair in the center, I would be willing to do that because I'm, I'm confident in that to do that. Um, but, you know, hey, if I get people that say, I love the way you root your babies, I wouldn't mind one rooted. Well, we'll talk then, you know, and, and I'll, I'm going to, you know, have you guys understand that I'm no professional with rooting right now. I'm learning all of that. I'm a artist. I'm a painter. That's what I'm good at, you know, so that's why they'll be painted and stuff like that. I do root some eyebrows on some of them, root eyelashes on them. That I'm confident in, but the hair, like I said, I'm learning that with my babies, but we'll talk. Eventually, I will do um, ethnic babies. I want a couple in my collection. I want a little African-American. I want a Chinese. I want a Mexican baby. I'm um, in my collection. I do. I just think they'd be adorable, and I will eventually do that, but right now, I'm just going to do Caucasian until I learn that, too, because I want them to be my babies to see if the color turns out right, everything turns out good, then I will consider doing ethnic babies as well and stuff like that. But like I said, just know that they're going to come, most of them are going to come bald right now on, you know, unless I do the painting and the combo hair and then they're going to be more. They'll be 700 then. So I'm going to turn the camera off now, go on to my babies and show you my collection and we'll go from there. And then tomorrow you guys will get all three of those videos of the ones I have for sale. But like I said, if you are so interested in getting one, I was going to have them out here, but they're already boxed up. And put away, they come with 
um, accessories. If you watch the video, you'll see what they come with. And I have added in those boxes. Just so you know, I added a thing of baby wash cloths, four of them. And I did switch out the bottle uh, for that little cheapy bottle that's in there. And I put a Cookie Monster bottle in there for the Cookie Monster toy and an Elmo one in there. Just a, a little bit better of a bottle. I just thought it would be nicer. And did I add anything else? Um, I don't know if I added anything else in there. No, I don't think I did. So I added those two things in there, but go in and look where the accessories come with them. When I do my babies, a few more accessories are going to come with it. Like I said, they were just coming out of my collection or whatever, but the ones I'm actually going to start buying and painting and selling, um, for sales or whatever, will come with more, you know, accessories they are going to have more to it that, you know, that are going to come with it. So, but that's that. Um, I'm excited for this channel to grow. I really hope it does because I do see these channels grow. And I really hope my, my business will get off the ground because I love painting. And like they say, take your talents that God give you. I am a Christian. I have my salvation. I know where I'm going one day. And they, it says in the Bible, take your gifts that God gives you, the talents he gives you, and use them. Well, he gifted me as an artist. So not only am I going to be able to paint babies for myself and use my talents, but I'm going to bring joy to somebody else out there that is either a collector, needs a baby because they lost a baby, can't have babies, is older and just wants a baby. I want to bring joy to you too. And you will see my babies. I've been told, I mean, Jaden, if Jaden was here, he would sit and tell you, and he is an artist as well. He does the reborns. And he's, he's told me, I cannot believe how good you paint silicone. He said, if I ever get another silicone, I'm sending that baby to you and I want you to paint it for me because you're phenomenal at it. So my son says I'm phenomenal. My husband says I'm phenomenal. I brought a couple babies at Christmas time, that one and that one, and my sister-in-law tried to steal that one from me. She said, I love the rooting on it. It looks so realistic. And she told my brother, grab that. My brother said, grab what? She goes, the baby, take it. <laughs> I said, you know, you can buy them and I'll paint it for you. She says, no, I want that one because it's just so perfect. I want that one. So, but yeah, so I've, everybody, I've gotten so many compliments. They say that they are really beautiful. Remember when you see videos, they're going to, the photos are going to look different than in real life. And I would just love if you guys do buy these babies from me, please do a video on it. If you have a channel, do an unboxing so I can see, because I want to see your face. Um, if you don't, if you could email me, I'll, my email's always linked in the box. Um, I'll throw it up on the screen here, but it will be linked in the box. Please just email me with some photos of it and just tell me what you felt of, you know, of the baby. Because I'd like to know how I'm bringing joy to people and they, if they really love my babies, you know. And like I said, they are cheaper babies. There are flaws to them. They have seam lines. They've got the pore spot on top. But when I paint them, it camouflages them. And it does make them look more like a $3,000 baby because I do the veining, the mottling. Some of them I added painted umbilical cord. I do whatever I feel when I say baby, like one of the one that I'm selling right now has a little Maryland mole on it. It's got the little milk spots, they, the spots they get, like little pimples that they get. I did that one on my preemie one. Um, they get, uh, like I said, um, uh, the mottling, the uh, the veining, they get um, the nail beds and the fingertips. I do that. Um, blushing, they're just beautiful. You know, I just make these babies beautiful and I do what I feel when I see that baby. Sorry about that, my alarm went off. But anyways... Like I said, some will be lighter, some will be, you know, a little bit darker like her. She's like a little Italian baby. You know, she's a little bit, not dark, but just a darker tone. Some will be more of a, you know, a red baby. I'm just going to do them what I feel when I get them, and then eventually I'll do ethnic babies. But, yeah, I just wanted to introduce myself again. My name is Angel, and I am grateful for the subscriptions already that I got, and I hope that you guys will subscribe to this channel, and you'll have a lot of fun because I do a lot of videos with them, and I'm pulling them out of the Keep It Keto now. Again, I'm doing all in here because that's my keto channel, so I'll do them all in here. And I just, you know, as the channel grows, I still want to throw some over there until this channel grows. But if it grows quick enough, I'll just be doing them here. But I will be doing them in there, too, just because I, you know, want to be able to share them, not in just a few videos. I want to be able to share them. But, yeah, I'm going to be going in, you know, if you, you're coming over from End Love with Reborns, thank you so much. Because I am going to, you know, talk about that over there, that I have a channel and selling babies. Because I do know that people over there were asking her to buy these babies, these uh, Amazon, eBay babies to paint them. But she doesn't want to do that. She says, I don't want to get into that. I'm going to stick with the Reborns, but I'm going to do them. So I'm going to have babies for sale. And yeah, I'm just excited for you guys to, you know, to be able to get my babies. I can't believe it, my heavenly babies. So now I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you each of my babies. And like I said, if any are painted or not yet and what I did. And then we'll go from there and tell you their names and where I got them. And we'll go from there. But it was nice to meet all of you guys. And I'm excited for this channel to grow. And I'm excited for my business to get off the ground. I really hope that the talent God gave me really will bring joy to everybody else and that I do well. So nice to meet all of you guys and I'm excited for this channel to grow. And now let's get on to my heavenly babies. 
Okay, so I figured we'd start with the very first full body silicone I got, which was my little micro preemie. I named him Abel Jackson, and the reason was is from the Sons of Anarchy. If you remember Jax, Charlie Hunnam, who I just recently met you guys. If you go over to Keep It Keto, I went to Monster Mania, and I got to get his autograph and do a photo op with him. I also met Sylvester Stallone, you guys, and that's also over at the Keep It Keto. I met him in December, on December 10th. And I uh, got to give Sylvester Stallone a kiss on the cheek. Uh, my husband asked if I could give him a kiss for my birthday, and I got to give him a kiss and um, get his autograph, and I have it tattooed on me. I share all of that over there. So definitely get over there if you guys are interested in that. But, yeah, I'm a big, big Sylvester Stallone fan. All right, so I'm going to take his little nook out and just show you this beautiful little guy. Again, um, you guys are not getting the true color he is uh, because, you know, camera work this is 4k you're getting all i can see the little dust going through the camera too um but he is a you know pretty red baby because that's what color it was but i was recreating the look of Jax's baby on the sons of anarchy because his baby was born very prematurely and he was a very micro preemie baby and so i thought this one reminds me of that so i'm going to call him abel jackson because his name was abel and we got Jax, the one in the show, his full name is Jackson. They call him Jax, Charlie Hunnam. So I thought I'll incorporate both, Abel, Jackson. So there's my first full body silicone that I did, that I painted. And this, all that's on him is the uh, the little, um, <laughs> uh, what's it called? Um, KY jelly that I put on them to put their nooks in. So you just have to wash it off. But that's all that it is on them, on his face or whatever. It just is little pieces of like rubber, it rubberizes or whatever, and you just pull it off. But that's what you guys should use to put nooks in is the KY jelly. You can get it even at the dollar store, but it's a water-based, make sure it's water-based KY jelly. But yeah, just use that to put the nooks in. But look at that cute little mouth. I painted the inside of his mouth. You can see he's got little pieces in there of the KY jelly as well. But he's got the little tongue and everything. Real cute baby, but I fully painted him. And yeah, he's a, he's a tiny one. He's just one and a half pounds and 12 inches. And I would say, if I had to guess his eco, he is not an eco 20. He definitely is harder. So I want to say he's an eco 30. I thought he was, you know, pretty squishy, but he's not as squishy as Octavia. So I would definitely say he is an eco 30. All right. And like I said, I got this one from my friend Jaden. So I'm not sure where he came from or who the artist is, but he is a baby that's got the seam lines. And I actually seen on and Love with Reborns on her channel, she got this baby from Target. So it might have been a Target baby. I'm not sure. Uh, but whoever had it, he bought it from a seller, um, somebody that was selling these babies or whatever, but it does have the seam lines. But again, I painted and camouflaged all of that. But there's the first full body silicone I got was my little Abel Jackson. Okay. Then we're going to go over to the second one I got, which was Octavia. My love, my joy, my most favorite silicone baby. Of course, now I'm a little torn because I love all of them. It's so hard to pick one you love the most, but she was my first. Okay, and even up this close, you're not seeing the flaws on her, but she is flawed in the eye here. She's got um, right there when I show you. The, you know, silicone I, that ripped out of there, I had to try to put in and it destroyed. So I'm going to try to razor blade that off and mold it with actual silicone because I was using um, cycle paint, which is paint to fill in. And it was just too thin. But you can see I did do a paint job on her. She's got the veining and all that. I did her a lot lighter and so like that. But I'm going to definitely get this baby fixed if I can't. Maybe I could find somebody. Maybe as my channel grows here, I'll find somebody that would be able to fix her and know what to do just to smooth out her silicone where I've got the little nicks and, and you know, little bumps and lumps and nicks and all that from the drilling of her. If not, I'm going to figure out how to just get her even 50% better, but she is my favorite. She is 11 pounds and she is um, 21 inches long or 20 inches long. And she is a uh, 20 eco flex. Uh, I do know that for sure. So she is squishier, much squishier. So she's an eco flex 20. And um, I've named her Octavia Madison. That is what Jaden named her was Octavia, I think it was Madison, was the middle name. So I first named her Octavia Marie after me, my middle name, because he didn't know her middle name. And we liked the name Octavia. I was actually going to change her name to a different name, but I, my husband and I both loved the name Octavia. I had never heard it before. So we kept Octavia Madison. So meet Octavia Madison. But you see that she does have some, it's hard to see, but she does have some flaws here that, you know, just came out with the silicone. But she's still so beautiful and still the love of my life. I did paint her and all of that. Her nails are done and all of that. I've, you know, painted all of them and done them. And it's hard to see the flaws. Like, it really is, but she is my boo-boo baby. There's that. And then the other spot is on her head right there. I want to fix that as well, but I'm just kind of calling it a birthmark right now. And I want to eventually root her. I'm going to root her. All right? 
Then the very next baby I got was Christian. Right there, that's the other one I got from Jaden. Oh, this one here Jaden gave me, okay? I uh, said all I had to do was pay the shipping on this one and um, this one. I mean, and then I got the Reborn and, you know, he said that I will give you that one and this one and just all you got to do is pay the shipping. So that's what I did. And so we got both of these babies and I just paid the shipping on them. And then, you know, I just want to tell you that. Then I got her and I can't remember what I paid for her, what he asked for her. I think 1500 I um, don't remember. But she is a $3,000 baby, definitely. Uh, this one here, I think he paid 300 for this one, for the little Abel. And then my um, one that I'm selling, the Reborn one, the Cloth Body Reborn, um, I call her Aurora Star. Um, she, uh, he bought the kit and I'm not even sure what that costed and what it costed him to do what he did with her. But so that's what I did there. But yeah, she would be a $3,000 baby. And here's another one. I think he paid 3000 for this one. And I think for Octavia, he paid 2800 for her. And she came out of Mexico is what he was told. So we can't even get a hold of the artist to find anything out about her or to see if she can make me another one. But I did find on End Love with Reborns. It was funny. She actually was rooting another baby that is that baby. But she didn't have any information on it. It was just going to the mommy who had bought it from the person. She doesn't know how to get a hold of that. She said that video is like five years old. And don't even know if that lady even makes that baby anymore. But I thought fate happened and I thought I was going to be able to get her fixed or get another one of her. But yeah, no such luck. But that's okay. God must want me to fix her. But anyways, then I got him, Christian Gray. And this is my other full body silicone. And his head turns. He's got the, you know, the head that um, rotates around. If I can show you here, his head does detach, but not easily, but it does detach. But then I can, you know, move his head. But you can see he's more of a light baby. And in the camera here, he's actually looking actually looking like he's got more color than he truly does. He's really light. He's got really nice eyebrows painted on and all of that. But I'm going to give him more blushing and stuff like that on him just to really make him more flushed up and just look better. He is a bald baby, just like Octavia. He is bald. So, yep. But I love this one. Another one that would be about a three-month-old. And this one is a 30 eco. He's tougher. You can see as I squeeze these babies, you can tell the difference in their eco. But I don't care. I love 30 and 20 eco. Both are great and they are great babies. So don't get scared away. You know, if you get one that is a 30, it's a little stiffer. Don't get scared away from that. You know, you don't have to be scared of an EcoFlex being a 30. All right. All right. Then the next babies we got, look at her. Oh, my angel baby. This is Penelope, you guys. Penelope Grace, right? Penelope Oh, no, it's Penelope Page. I'm sorry, Penelope Page. So my husband calls her Pee Pee. And she looks like uh, my husband so much, you know, that I would say that if we had a baby, it would be definitely dark haired because he's dark haired, dark eyes. I believe that's what I would have. I'm blue eyed and blonde, but I just believe it would dominate. And um, I fully painted this baby. Look at how beautiful her painting is. I did a video on her. So I'm just going to show you just a little bit of her paint job and all of that because um, I've already done a video on her. But you guys can go over to Keep It Keto and see that video. I've done the toes, all the creases in there. Look at all the creases and everything. I really did good. Oh, she's slipping. Hang on, guys. I gotta. She's slipping off of here. We don't want this baby to slip. No, we don't want you to slip. You can't slip on us. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, you guys, sorry about that. But you just see the beautiful paint job. You can see her nail beds, all the blushing I did on her, the blushing on her cheeks, her eyelashes. Now, they are long lashes, I know, but I was going to cut them, but my sister-in-law and my mother said, don't cut them. I love the lashes. Just do not cut those lashes. I did obviously cut them because they were really long when they started, but when, after I got them to about there, I like to go just in sections so you don't go too short because once you go too short, well, now you've gone too short, you can't fix it. Too long, you can keep trimming. But everybody told me, leave them. We love them long like that. They're just so beautiful on her. My husband said the same thing. I rooted her eyebrows as well. She's got rooted eyebrows, and they're really pretty. Um, that's just her hair there, you guys. That's what you're seeing there is the hair. And it looks like on this, I do need to cut some of those. I'm noticing now the eyebrows are coming out just a little bit. They do come out of silicone. That's what sucks about, um, you know, rooting silicone because it doesn't stay in forever. It does come out. So I do got to fix a little bit of that. I just got to trim a little bit of that eyebrow there. I, unless it was just the hairs coming off from up there. I'm not sure out of her head. But yeah, I'm going to fix that. But look, it doesn't she a beautiful praying baby? Yes, I know. I got the string around it um, just because I wanted her to be my angel baby as I introduce angel and my heavenly babies. Wanted her to be the angel. She was the prettiest. So Penelope Page, PP, pee -pee, baby PP, pee -pee, I pierced her ears. And there's her baby hair. And that's how I like it. 
I like it with that very baby fine hair. It's black hair and just baby fine. Look at all the curls to it and everything. And that's how I like it. Now it doesn't, it's looking more because I'm using a light in a 4K. But if you've seen her in person, it's, it, it, there's definitely more hair there. It's not as fine as it looks in here. I can see it in here. It looks so different than when I look at her in person. But yeah, I like the baby fine hair like that. I really do. And it's curly hair. It's so cute. Yeah, I love her hair. And I love her so much. So that would have been the one I got um, from Anonymously. I don't know who gave it to me, but I got her, Penelope Page. And then I got him. And this is Toby Lee. That's what I named him. And look at those blue eyes. I got him glass eyes from Irresistible. And they're a beautiful blue. And yeah, um, I didn't want her to fall, but I'll take his nook out so I can show you guys. Look at that boo-boo. Look at his mouth. I opened his mouth because that baby, this particular baby, does not come with an open mouth. So I opened it. But these were the two that were donated to me, given to me as anonymous gifts. And she is, oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you guys. She is, I will squeeze her and show you, she's the Eco 20. And she's super floppy, very floppy baby. This one is a very floppy baby. I can't show you, though, because she's sitting up there. But this one here is an Eco 30. I just like to tell you about each one of my babies, and I fully painted him as well. And look at him in the little Nike outfit. And I gave him blonde hair, rooted blonde hair. And I can just show you some of his features. But you'll get to see videos because I do videos on these babies. I change them, give them a bath, all of that. I've got videos already on my other channel that. But he's a little blondy. And I'll just kind of show you up under this hat. We gave him blonde hair. Of course, it's all messy right now. I did like a mohawk type in the middle and then very baby fine blonde hair on the sides for him, but it's just messy here because he's got the hat on right now. But he's my little blue-eyed blondie to look like me. I want all my babies to look like me and my husband. That's why I did them blonde hair and blue eyes, but he's fully painted as well. Hi, little guy. Are you saying hi to the camera? Um, I do have his nose wet coming down, but this right here is just the KY again. The wetness that you're seeing there, that's the KY. The KY is right here. It's on his mouth. You know, I just got it. All you have to do is just wash it off of them, but look at that face. Isn't he cute? And oh, I didn't tell you the size of the babies. So um, she, I told you, was 11 pounds, 20 inches. Christian, um, he is one and a half pounds and 12 inches. Christian is 21 inches and weighs 12 or 10 pounds, five ounces. He's just five, just a little bit. Um, he feels the same exact weight as Octavia, my, my boy here, Christian Gray. But um, I think he is 10'5", so he's a, but he's longer. He's longer than her, and his legs stretch out more where hers fold up. She's more petite, being a girl, okay? And then she is 18 inches long, and she is 6 pounds, um, just a little over 6 pounds. I think 6 pounds 8 ounces or something, 6 pounds 7 ounces uh, and 18 inches. This one here is 8 pounds, and yeah, completely 8 pounds, and he is uh, 19 inches, so these are newborn babies, and I did give him and her both an umbilical cord. I think I can show you hers without her slipping. Hope she doesn't slip here. We don't want her to slip. I painted her umbilical cord. I did the same with him. Look at that beautiful veining in there, but I gave her an umbilical cord being a newborn. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, painted umbilical cords. That's what I do. All right, and the next, the next baby I got was this one here, and I'm going to do a video on him. I have not rooted him yet, but everybody's been waiting to see the look of him. He is my Sylvester Michael, which is Sylvester Stallone's name backwards. It was Michael Sylvester, and he changed it as a stage name. He goes by Sylvester Stallone, uh, Sylvester Michael. So I think that's what his middle name is. Yeah, he just switched it around. So this is Sylvester Michael as well. I had to have a Sylvester. And this one also is a 30 equal, equal flex. He is very uh, big feet. He's got really big feet, really big hands. And so I thought it. this one has to be Sylvester because he's got a he's a good sized baby, um, but just big hands and big feet. But he's not that big. He's um, 19 inches and he is uh, eight pounds, five ounces, I believe. Um, so really good weight and everything. But he is an eco 30. So there's my third, fourth, fourth. Yeah, fourth one that is an eco 30, eco flex 30. And um, so far, I've only showed you two that were the EcoFlex 20. Okay, so this is Sylvester Michael, and uh, isn't he adorable? Yeah, let's pull your little nook out so they can see your beautiful face. We'll pull it out here. There's his with his wet nose and eyes. I'm going to do a video on him. Like I said, I did a before and after of him, but real quick, I'll just show you. Isn't he adorable? I'm going to root eyebrows, eyelashes, and give him hair. Um, you'll get to see that color after I do it. But yeah, look at that beautiful sleeping baby. Yeah, we got two sleeping and, well, actually, I've showed you one, two, 
three, four, four sleeping babies and one open eye so far, right? Yeah. Okay. So we got another sleeping baby and this is Sylvester Michael. Then the next one I got in the collection, and I don't remember, but I'm going to try to remember how it went. I believe the next one I got were these ones, my twins. They are 14 inches. They are uh, three pounds, 4.3 ounce. Uh, they are three pounds. Let's see, 3.43 pounds. And they are 14 inches long. And I got them as twins. They're just a boy girl uh, version of each other. And I thought I want them as twins. And I did brown eyes. Uh, because my husband has the brown eyes, I have the blue eyes. They are open eye babies, and they had closed mouths, but I opened their mouths. So we have to show you. That's one of the babies I have up for sale is a boy version of this, and these are twenty ecos. Look at how squishy it is, and the one I'm selling is a thirty eco. But you'll see on there the difference. Both of these are a twenty eco. Look at that smile. I have not yet painted these ones yet. These need to be painted, rooted, all of that, and I'll be doing that with them. But these are my twins. So yeah, adorable. Um, we might as well go right down to my Tinkerbell. This is Tinkerbell. This is my four-inch one. I forgot to tell you that I also got her in the year 2021 as well um, from Jaden that year, that Christmas. I got her, and her name is, um, I mean, it's Tinkerbell. My husband said, let's call her Tinkerbell because she's so little, and I do want to get her a Tinkerbell outfit, but she's a full-body silicone as well. I'll pull her out of her little sack here that she's in just so I can show you. And uh, she is a bald baby as well, but I just want to show you. And she's, like I said, four inches. I don't know her weight, but whoever did her even gave her veining. She's got veining, a paint job. She's a closed eye baby. She's got eyelashes. They even rooted eyelashes in there, but it looks like we're getting some eyelashes that are falling out of her. I didn't even realize she had rooted eyebrows. Wow. So I'm going to have to go and fix that, but look at that veining. I mean, this person did even veining on it. I don't know where she came from, but Jaden just gave her to me. But a bald baby... And yeah, look at that. Look at how cute she is. And she is a 20 eco. She's definitely a 20 eco. She's very squishy and very cute. My mom calls her the worm baby. <laughs> she even takes a pacifier, you guys. Yes, her mouth is open and I have a little pacifier for her and some clothes. But there is my little Tinker Bell. Okay, and then the next babies I would have got, I believe, were these ones here. I got these as twins, but I didn't get them both at the same time. First, I got my Priscilla Grace. And they are, um, I wasn't telling you guys all the companies too. So this is a Volance. I'm sorry. This is a Volance. This is an Ibita. Of course, those, the other ones, you know, I got from my friend. Not sure where they came from. This one is an Ibita. These ones were Volance. I got off of Amazon. This one, I don't know. I don't know because they were gifted to me. Um, but, oh, I think the Ibitas are eBay and the Volance are Amazon, just so you know. Okay, so this is an Ivita, so it came from eBay. These ones are from Amazon. They are the Volants. Um, that one, you know, I got from a friend. Okay, then the next one in row, like I said, I got her. Now, they. She, this is a totally separate company all in itself. It's Amazon, and I can't remember the company name. I'll stick it up on the screen here if I remember or a picture of the card. I first got her, named her Priscilla Grace, and absolutely love the name. She is, I think they are, uh, I want to say 18 inches, and they weigh just under seven pounds, I believe. Now, that she sells both. I put in the glass eyes. They came with brown plastic eyes. They came with the eyelashes, the very long lashes. Yes, see, they even have the long lashes. The rooted eyebrows, they both are bald. I'm going to be painting them. I haven't painted them yet. They do have some paint. Um, and I did open their mouths a little bit more. I want to take out their nooks just so you can see their cute little mouth with their tongue. Look at her. Uh, she's still pretty. I pierced her ears. And I got her, and then I thought, I want the boy version too because this company only makes... The boy and girl version with open eye and close eye. And they do the eyelashes and the eyebrows, and it's a bald baby. This one does have much of a bigger pore spot on it. But, yeah, such a beautiful baby. And they have the uh, armature in the neck. So their neck um, isn't as floppy. And I would say that these babies are more of an eco 30. I would definitely say they're an eco 30. Yeah, they're, they're stiffer. They're still squishy, but definitely an eco 30. Then I got my boy and I wanted blue eyes. I wanted these as twins, but I wanted him to have the blue eyes. And we named him Presley Gem. So we got Priscilla Grace and Presley Gem as twins. These two here, I forgot to tell you their names. It's Raven and Robin. So it's Robin uh, Rain 
and Raven Ray. That's their names. I keep forgetting to tell you guys' names. <laughs> and little Tinkerbell. But anyways, then we got Priscilla Grace and Presley Gem. Wanted to keep it kind of the Elvis theme. And love the blue eyes like Elvis. And I changed them. They ended up getting the 22 mil uh, from Irresistibles. I got them the glass eyes. And yeah, look at They both have kind of a different look. Let me take his pacifier out too. So you can see they have the same type of mouth. And it does come slightly painted, each one, but you can see they look a little bit different from each other. But, of course, they're not identical twins being boy-girl, right, if you buy it that way. So then the next one in line, I would have got these, my girls, my twin girls. And they was not intended to be twins. I got just one. Loved it so much. It's a very flappy baby. It even says flappy. It's like flappy like my um, Penelope Paige, um, just like her. They are really flappy babies. And so you got to know that these were... Um, EcoFlex 30, EcoFlex 20, both of them now. And then these ones here are definitely EcoFlex 20. They are so flappy and so squishy and just beautiful. Love these girls. Let me take out their passies. These two need to be painted as well. I want to paint these. I'm going to do very little with these two, though, because I like how light they are. I'm going to do very little, just a little bit of blushing and some of the creases on them. And then these two, my twin girls, I've got eyes for them. I did the 22 mil for them, too, from Irresistibles. Same color that I did for my Toby. And the names are, this is Mercedes Marie. Wait, let me make sure that this is just, again, just the stuff from the KY Jelly. Mercedes Marie and Lexus Luna. Yep, they are car names. We've got bird names here with Robin and Raven. And then car names, I always wanted a daughter named Mercedes Marie. So Mercedes Marie, and I only know because this one has less paint on the lips. That's why I know the difference. Once I, I'm doing something with them after I paint them. So I will always know the one from the other. Right now I know because of the color and lips, but it's starting to wear off of hers. And I, there are things on them that I know which one is which, but I'm going to do something that you guys will just love when I'm done that makes one one way and one the other. So Mercedes Marie and Lexus Luna, and they're my twin girls off of, um, I did say the last one. These ones came off of um, eBay. They're in eBay, Ivita. I believe they were Ivita. They are bald. So, of course, I got to give them hair. But, yeah, I gave them the glass eyes from Irresistible, and I love them. They got the little tongue in their mouth. I can't wait to paint these ones. Look at the tongue. Isn't that cute? I mean, I'm, you guys, these are babies that are like 100 bucks, you know? And after they're painted, you pay five, $600, and you get like a baby that's like a $3,000 baby. I mean, it's just crazy. Other than the seam lines that get covered, I'm telling you, these babies are phenomenal. So, like I said, I got this one off of Ivita. So, my twins. Then I got the one that looks like my son, baby. And that's the one I have up for sale right now. And there he is right there. He looks just like my son. And I got glass eyes for him, too. My son had blue eyes like that. The dark, his are cobalt blue, though, is the color. It's looking brighter because of the light. But um, I, he came with an open mouth. So, but they opened it. Uh, you know, it comes open like that or whatever. So he does take nooks and all that, but he looks just like my son. It is crazy, crazy. So I can't wait to paint him. But the one I have up for sale is the identical one. And it's done. It was done in purpose for me to do my recreation of my son. And it was a baby I was just going to get rid of because it wasn't working out. It finally worked out while well, I already had him and it was already over 30 days. So I couldn't return him. So somebody else gets to enjoy that baby. And I did a few things to it to make it look different by rooting black eyebrows, giving it brown eyes. Instead of that, so it didn't look like him, I gave him a birthmark on the elbow, like a cherry birthmark. And um, yeah, just did a few things different because I would have never been able to let him go looking like my son, but I didn't need two of my son babies. So I made it different. My son was blonde. He's going to be blonde and everything I'm going to do him. So he's not painted. He is, I would say, a 20 eco. He's a 20 eco, but he just feels a little bit stiffer. But I still would say he is a 20 eco. Definitely a 20 eco. He would not be a 30. He's in between or something like that if there is an in-between, but I would say he would be more of a 20. It's going to be Dylan James is the name, and I got him from Amazon, okay? The second time I got him, yeah, both, both were Amazon, or the second time I got I think I got it from eBay. I paid a little bit less, so I got him from, I forget the company name, Kazdal is the name, but I got it from Amazon and then one from eBay, so I paid a little less for the second one, just a little less for that one, and then the next one here is my, oh, little old man, he was the next one I got. He's called the little, the little Old Man Baby, I believe. And I just love this baby. I love him. He is a preemie sized baby with a big head. He has a big, big head. He's got that look. I can't wait to you know emphasize on all of the uh, creases and everything. He's got eyelashes. He's got um, 
I, th I think they're painted. Yeah, painted eyebrows, but he's got eyelashes in there. And he looks like a little old man. And look at how messed up his mouth is, too, because of the KY jelly. I put all, you know, put them on their nooks to put them in. Um, but his mouth is an open mouth. He does take pacifiers. He is bald. This baby's going to remain bald, but I am going to paint him. But we're just going to do art because I do like him to stay lighter just for some reason because of the way he looks like a little old man. But look at how tiny his little hands are. They're so tiny. And I just, I had to have this baby. It's so unique. He has a long umbilical cord. Um, one day, I've already done a video on but one day you'll get to see that again because I'll do a video on him so you can see it. Here he's got like something on his hand. It looks like a little skin tag. I'm going to keep that on there and emphasize on that if you guys can see that. Is it still there? Oh, God. Oh, right there. <laughs> the little skin tag. Like, I'm going to keep that on him like that. And I'm going to do the nail beds and everything. But, yeah, he's just a little guy. And now I would say he is definitely a 20 eco. Yep, he's a 20. But he's a little bit stiffer again. It's so hard between these two. And they actually came both from Cosdell. This one and this one were Cosdell. So they're just a tiny bit stiffer. But if I had to guess, I would say he's more of a 20 than a 30. But I'd say in between, in between the two. So, but yeah, he's a cutie pie, isn't he? Like the little old man. He's got this long umbilical cord I just love. Then the last but not least, yep, would be this one. And I named her Heavenly Faith. And it's heavenly, all one word, but instead of L-Y, it's L-E-E -E in her first name. So Heavenly, after my mom, my mom's middle name is L-E-E, -E, Lee. But her first name is Heavenly, and her middle name is Faith. That was always the name I wanted to name my daughter. And if I had a, a girl, I always said that she would have brown eyes and dark hair with me and my husband, because of his dark and I would believe it would dominate. So that's my little girl and I have painted her. She's painted. She's got the little milk spots. Let's go ahead and show the mouth. Now she is the same baby as Toby, but it's hard to tell that they're the same baby because they both look a little bit different. It's really funny how they look so different. Um, one's a boy, one's a girl. She does look a lot more different than him. You know, it's just crazy. I'm just glad that they look different. So it's like their brother and sister and not twins. But I did the milk spots on her. I painted her all up. That's just, again, the KY jelly. She got milk spots in her chin, milk spots right here in the nose and all that. I gave her glass eyes as well. That's a 24 mil in her eyes, 24 mm from Irresistibles. I did the brown on her. I rooted eyebrows and I rooted the hair. Very, very, very baby fine hair on her whoops kind of pulling that very baby fine because that's how I imagined but again it's a lot more than what you're seeing in this video it's just because it's so light the light is so bright on it but yeah she has got a lot more hair than what it is showing here and it is so realistic I just love it like I said I love my babies and that's how I imagine my baby that's what my son's hair looked like it was very baby fine like that so yeah that's the last of my collection that's heavenly face and it says mom's mini yeah, that would be my favorite one. If I can ever have a daughter, it's going to be um, Heavenly Faith is going to be her name. Even if I have to adopt a little girl, it would be Heavenly Faith. So that is it, you guys. Let me back up here so you can just see all my collection here. And one more, you know, uh, just shot of them. I'm going to get a picture of all of them. But that is my Heavenly Babies. And like I said, really excited about this channel. Sorry the video was so long, but it's my introduction video and we're going to go from there. And I hope you guys will enjoy and definitely will, you know, get into buying my babies. Look at all that dust floating through. <laughs> 4K is terrible. It shows everything. But yeah, I can't wait for you guys to get some of my babies and get to know all of you guys very much. I love the baby community, the reborn and silicone community. Can't wait to get to know all you guys. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Oh my gosh, you guys, I had one more baby left to show you guys. I forgot to share the very last one. He's the very last one that I got. Doesn't mean it's the last baby I'm going to get. But my little Noah, we've got Noah. What did I name him, his middle name? Noah, I can't remember. I'll put it up on the screen here when I remember his middle name. I can't remember, but it's baby Noah. This is a 17-inch baby, very floppy, very cute. I have not painted him yet either. I will be painting him. We'll pop out his little nook. So you can see his face. He comes with an open mouth as well. He takes basically full pacifiers. Um, he is a little bit smaller, but he is 17 inches and he weighs um, six pounds, I believe. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty close on it, like I said. And he came from eBay as well. He's an Ivita. And I just love this baby so much. Oh my gosh, I love this little boy. I just, I go crazy over him. I hold him so much. And then my heavenly faith, I hold so much. But I forgot, I missed a baby. 
I missed him and didn't show you guys him. He is a bald baby as well, but I'll be painting him too. And he is an EcoFlex 20 and a super flappy baby. Super, super, super flappy. Love him. Baby Noah. I don't remember what his middle name is, but I would have put it up on the screen there. But anyways, that's it, you guys. <laughs> now I can go. Now you've seen them all. Everybody take care and God bless.